Hello, everybody, and welcome to Zanata Consulting's Tips and Tricks series. This is another one on Zoho CRM, and this is going to be setting up a calendar booking. So Zoho has a product called Zoho Bookings. Um, it has some problems with kind of reading calendars and sometimes doing some things. It's a, depending on your use case for it, you may find it works for you. Um, many people don't. But what a lot of people don't know is you have a very, very similar feature right inside the CRM. And one of the advantages it has over bookings is it actually can integrate with Zoom and go to meeting and some of the other um, basically big uh, meeting software that's out there right now. So what you're going to do is going to click on your calendar, just go to any date inside the calendar, and you're going to have an options button up here. It's kind of hard to find. You can't get to it from settings. Um, but if you go down to the bottom, you'll see calendar booking. And if you go ahead and bring that up, um, this is going to give you your calendar bookings. And what you'll want to do is you're basically going to go into uh, create a calendar booking. And uh, you can do it a team booking for several people on your team, or we'll just make it one just directly for me. And here you can set it up. How long do you want it to be? I want this to be a 60 minute meeting. Um, and you can make this an online meeting and then it's going to let you select. So you could actually use Zoho meeting or you can use Zoom. Now, in order to get Zoom in here, you're going to want to go to the Zoho marketplace and go ahead and put that Zoom extension in. Um, but it's a free extension and it'll go ahead and automatically link to your Zoom meeting. Um, you can have the fields or the questions you want. So they put their name in and get their email address, uh, add as many different questions as you want here. How often do you want to make it available? So do you want this hour meeting to be available every 30 minutes? Um, how long do they need to have before they can book it? So, you know, say you've got an opening on your calendar at noon and it's 11 o'clock. Do you want somebody to be able to come in at uh, 11.59 and go ahead and book it? You probably don't. So you're going to want to put uh, how long between meetings someone can do. And then how far ahead it's going to look on your calendar or how far ahead they can schedule on your calendar. So this is 60 rolling days that they can look at. Or you can go ahead and you can say, hey, I want them to be able to look X far ahead on my calendar to go ahead and book. Uh, and do you want a buffer? So do you want your meetings to be back to back? Would you like to put a little 10 minute buffer between your meetings in here? And then when do you want to send a reminder? So you go ahead and uh, make these very, very simple, straightforward choices and go ahead and save that. And now you'll have your overall bookings. And all you have to do then, click on the three dots. And you can go ahead and copy that link, or you can get an embed code to put it on your website. In this case, I'm just going to copy the link and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post it up here. <coughs> and now you can see I've got my calendar bookings and people can go through and put whatever times they would like. It's going ahead and reading my calendar, knowing what's open, knowing when I'm available and giving them the options for these various bookings. Really, really straightforward, nice feature just uh, right there inside Zoho CRM, oftentimes overlooked. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel or head over to Zanata.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. You can subscribe to our newsletter where every Monday morning at 6 a.m. we tell you everything that happened in the world of Zoho last week. And we also share some additional tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching.